It's a typical day here at the general store located on the top of Mount Lemmon. However, this store, along with the community of Summerhaven, was almost pushed into extinction 10 years ago after the Aspen wildfire. Looking across the way from his parking lot, co-owner of the general store and resident Phil Mack recalls the day he was evacuated a decade ago. I actually had a pile of wood on the side of the garage that I used to sell. I'd bag it up and sell it. And the wood pile started first, caught the house on fire. The A-frame behind me was fully engulfed, and that started the back side of my house on fire. And it just came forward, burnt the store. Um, we lost everything. Damage from the fire is still evident within the natural landscape. However, most businesses and homes have been rebuilt since then. We, uh, we had one year of lost business income, and um, I went to my builder and told him, we've got one year to rebuild. If you can't rebuild me in a year, let me know. Um, we burnt down on uh, June 19th. We reopened on June 19th the following year. The wildfire season is just around the corner. Here in the southwest, the dry climate mixed with intermittent high winds makes the forest a tinderbox for any igniter. Although lightning is responsible for some fires, human recklessness is typically the biggest perpetrator. In order to prevent forest fires that do damage, such as this behind me, many forest services have done seasonal bans on campfires and even smoking. Um, people are very careless with cigarettes. They'll light a cigarette and they're holding it out the window, flicking the ash off of it. Pete Baxter of the Tucson Fire Department points out ways that homeowners in rural areas or living in the wilderness can decrease the chance of their home being engulfed in flames. We try to uh, recommend to people that they create a safe zone around their, their home. And by doing that, we ask them to uh, clear structure about 20 to 30 feet away from their home. We call it laddering when it starts on the ground and then it moves its way up from like low-lying branches. Then pretty soon it, it touches the eave of the home and then pretty soon the home is on fire. The fact is, out of control wildfires can spread quicker than fire crews can put them out. Awareness and prevention are the best tools to fight these wildfires. You know, people don't think about the fire danger. And us living here, surviving a fire, um, it's very much so on our mind. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Wes Wilkins.